Hey, what's going on, everybody? Do some more Might and Magic 6. So, I did do a little research, and there's about three dungeons I feel I could potentially take on. One of which would be kind of cheesy to do, but would be very helpful if I could finish it. <coughs> but before we do that, I wanted to go try and get some experts and masteries of all this stuff. So, I need to figure out where to go for some of these. I've written down where they're at, but to figure out exactly where they're at, I'm just going to reference the maps. Because that will be a hell of a lot easier than me running around cities for hours at a time trying to figure out exactly where these things are. So first up would be Shield. Um, it is available here in Freehaven, where I'm at. At least it said it was. Expert plate. Expert shield, there it is. Alright. It's actually right up here. <coughs> Greetings. Okay. So yeah, go ahead and get all these experts up. It'll help with their abilities. So recovery penalty, that'll definitely help. Uh, oops. Uh, mace is available. Frozen Highlands. Misty. All right. So we got a few places to travel to. But now that I've done all that mastery stuff for the light. Time is absolutely zero factor. Need a ride? So actually, I need to go to Iron need Fist as well. So might as well do that. Um, Iron Fist has two things I need, I believe. I could have gotten Shield here as well, but I know where one's at, and the other one I might be able to find quickly because this is a small place. Hello. There it is. Yeah. There's another one. So. Master of the Spirit. No, that's not the one. Greetings. There it is. Expert okay. bodybuilding. So even more hit points. Just getting that expert gave me what? Twelve more hit points? That's only at four points, so what that's three hit points a point that it added for going to expert? Anyway, um, so I did those two, I did that, so now I need to get to Misty Island, Silver Cove, and Frozen Highlands. <coughs> Whoops. Wait, let me do that, actually. Hang on a second. Making some adjustments to window sizes to better fit what I need to do. That way I can keep everything up easily. There we go. Um, so I want to go to Mist. Or Silver Cove, but Mist would probably be nice first. Yeah, I went looking, uh, I don't need to go there. There's three dungeons I think I can do. One of which, I, I mean, I can do, but I don't think I can do it well. But, based on where it's at, there's a healing temple of Ba right next to it. So I might be able to go in, fire off Dragon Breath once or twice, go out, heal, rinse and repeat until I Welcome wear things down. the plank and hoist the sail! And that would actually be that Temple of the Sun that I showed off, where I pretty much died instantly that I've been talking about. Um, yeah, 
What's in mist? Meditation. Master. And that's... Actually, while I'm here, I might clear out the overworld area. Because there was a quest for that, and I haven't done that. And I'm sure it shouldn't be Pleased too difficult. To meet you. Yes. So there's a whole bunch more spell points. Always a good thing. See, I th actually, I think while I'm here, I'll do that. It shouldn't take too long to clear out the places. Alright. May we be of service, live long, and prosper. Let's just hope I don't get a whole bunch of crashes again like I've been doing, but, you know. Like I said, as long as I'm not too quick on everything, it should be fine. <clears throat> so yeah, there was a quest I got here while I was here last time to take this teleporter and go to different islands and clearing out all the monsters, and I never did that. So... Let's do that. I think it's mostly a bunch of, like, Bob mystics and assassins and stuff. It shouldn't be anything too terrible. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the extent of what this is. There might be some of those like assassin cut purse peoples, yeah. But Got it. otherwise, I believe that's all that's uh -huh. out here. Uh -huh. Worthless bow, magic potion, uh -huh. worthless axe. Why did I take that? Oh, hey, I have a whole bunch of stuff to sell. I still have Mordred. I guess I'll keep that. I don't know. I guess I should sell it since I'm not gonna use it. I kind of want to keep it just because, like, of what it is, but it's like, I would never use it. So I need to sell stuff. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. I guess that's one thing I'll do when I get back to town. Aha! Uh -huh. 42 plus 3, 52 plus, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah. Nothing too crazy. That's such a habit of that, but I don't need to do that as much now, so... Alright, so that's everything from that island. Treasure. Uh, nothing else in there. <clears throat> and this is pretty much the entire map. Like, this will go all the way over here, and then everything else is water.
bunch of easy stuff. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. Worthless it. treasure, but you know. Ah. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I mean, they did expect you to probably clear this out a little earlier than I've been doing. Legs itching. Shots all around. Got it. Ah. Ah. Oh. Not bad. That's nice to have. Ah. Six personality. Um, that might get worn. Oh, seven personality. Never mind. <laughs> Got that one. And the obelisk is over here. So I'll go ahead and get that. Because I believe to open the chest that this hints to, you have to have read all the obelisks. I don't believe it functions otherwise. Alright, so now I can go turn in that quest. Um... I'm guessing that was in the town hall? No? Let me see here. There's quest there, quest there. Yeah, let me go check that. Check on the town hall, see if that's where you turn the quest in. I don't think it was, though. I think it was somewhere else, but... We'll see what happens. Closed. Still closed. Have I got a job for you? Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was in there. So who do I have to? Uh, maybe it wasn't an actual quest, and it was just kind of a. I remember I had to talk to someone to turn these teleporters on. Like, I remember you talking to someone that said, Go use the teleporter to get across islands. I'll turn them on. Greetings. But. How are you? No one's saying anything. His Grace Albert Newton, Marquis of Mist and High Sorcerer of Enron. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, well, quickly, it's not too big of a Hello. town to run around to, so. Also, is there anything else I'm needing to... Let's see, your master, your master, expert, mace, mastery, and body expert, er, mace expert, body mastery. 
And that's in Misty Cove and Silver Eye. No. We're in Mist. No, oh, I did that one. Yeah, Frozen Highlands and Silver Cove. That's what it is. My note was confusing me because I didn't mark down the right things. Closed. Greetings. Hello. Expert staff defense. Tavern. Shop, 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 shop. Nothing. Hello. Hello. How are you? These are all Pleased the masters of those three. Well, maybe I'm just imagining things. Or maybe it was just like there there's a few like what some have called sub quests that they're a quest Hello. but they're not a quest in terms of getting an actual quest and going to complete it. It's just like, oh you can do this. So I don't know, maybe it was that. I don't have a quest in my book for it that I can see. So that means there's nothing to do. Alright, so now I need to go to Silver Cove and Frozen Highlands. Where do you think Iron Fist? Go there. And hoist the sail. Slightly better travel options, it seems. Welcome aboard. Mist Bootleg Bay East. Let me just look through this to see the best place to go. Cause So Bootleg Bay. Actually, yeah, Bootleg Bay is not going to get to Silver Cove. I need to go to Free Haven. So let's head there. Need a ride? No. Need a ride? Also found horse. out you don't have to wait for that time to trickle down when you rest. You hit it and it's going to do it and even if you hit exit. So now I need, need Frozen ride. Highlands or Silver Cove. Silver Cove would possibly be best by boat, but we'll see. Um, also, I keep looking in all the stalls for more horseshoes. Welcome um, aboard! Cause like I said, things do respawn after so long. A lot of overworld areas are like a year or two years. And since it's already been a year, I kind of make sure to keep just looking as I pass by. Because if they respawn, I'll just be able to get it. It'll also tell me that the area has been respawned. If they're there again. Which means I can get... I'll know that enemies are about now. For the most part, it's not a big worry. But it's still good to know that the enemies are roaming around. Need a ride? White cap. That's Frozen Highlands. That should be decent. Unless I have to go to one of those other that other area up here. Hi. Come on in. Um, alright, so white cap. We need what do we need up here? Mace expert. Uh, expert mace is on okay. Expert Mace is over here. Go ahead and get Wizard Eye up just so we know what's out there. A couple archers, nothing too worried about. This is unbuffed. I'm actually killing them like this, so. You can still see the difference. Those buffs still help a lot. Go ahead and get that up. So expert may should be right up here. Greetings. Yeah, that's expert bow. Greetings. There we go. Expert mace. So now I'm an expert. What? Pleased to meet you. Yes. There we go. Now I'm an expert. I think that happened in another game. I was playing, like I was messing around on another file, and 
I went through, clicked expert, clicked learn, left, and then I wasn't an expert. But now I'm an expert, so now every point will also do bonus damage. So that just increased my damage a good decent chunk. Um, body mastery. That would be in Silver Cove. Uh, don't drink from fountains. Bad idea. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these two archers just for right now. Get them out of the way. So much easier with the buffs. Ah. Alright. So, actually, one of the places, one of the dungeons I was thinking of doing is Icewind Keep, which is this place right here. Um, I don't feel it would be too terribly difficult. The biggest issue is the overworld monsters. I feel those are a little harder than what's out there. In fact, I'm going to look at the stat differences between those two. Um, yeah, the, the overworld monsters, those Magars and whatnot, they're about twice as tough as all the enemies inside that dungeon. So it might say that might be difficult just to get to. It's also not the one I want to do the most. That would be that Temple of the Fist. So wait an hour. Save so he doesn't go crazy or anything. Need a ride? There we go. Can't free haven. So from here, I need to see about going to Silver Cove, and then we will see about doing... That's not what I wanted. Free Haven travel to Silver Cove is on Tuesday and Thursday. It is Thursday, so I should be able to get there. Welcome above. Go the Silver Cove. To sail. I'll go to Silver Cove. And Silver Cove was Master of Body. So Master Body Magic is over there. Guess while I'm here, I'll go ahead and hit up any magic shops, see if there's anything worth buying. Pleased to meet you. Yes. All right. So now he's a body magic master. Not gonna change a whole lot outside of like weakness will be a day, poison's a day per point. So I can go, I can be poisoned for up to 12 days and still cure it. I mean, it doesn't really change cure wounds, which is the only real spell I'm using there a lot. Um, and you know, everything else is covered through other things, so. So getting Master Bajum wasn't really needed. Closed. But I figured I might as well just do it. Greetings. Faster recovery. Hello. Not necessarily a terrible thing to have. Um. So I wanted to check out. What, the Light Guild? I think there's a Light Guild here. A self guild, which self is like yeah there there's the light guild, Closed. but there's self and um Light, the magic of elemental the guilds which have the entire sorcerer cleric magic schools all together. Yeah, nothing worth getting, nothing needed. <clears throat> Hurry up! I don't have all day. What do you have for sale? Nothing crazy. Still love to get a few fly spells. Like that would make a lot of things so much easier. If I had a flight spell I could put or even two maybe. That would make mastering dark magic a lot easier than it's going to be. 
Yeah, this is the gel, the self, so it mixes all three schools together and has them available. Nothing I need. Oh, do I have to cure disease? That's the one thing. I don't, so I guess I'll pick that up. Yes. Yeah, I need to sell. I forgot about that. So I can sell a bunch of stuff here. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Come again. Oh, where's the armory and all that? There it is. Finest weapons in the land. So I'm curious, will this sell? Yes, it will sell. I'm not gonna sell it here though, because I could go to like New Sorpagal and get the full twenty thousand instead of twelve thousand. So that's a decent chunk of change where I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just outright sell. All right. Ah. This inventory management is getting annoying. Aha. Finest weapons in the land. Come again. So now, there, there we go. Now I got all three in there. Um, where's the weapon store? It's like right around the corn. What? Or no, the armor store. store is on the other side he's over here how you doing how you doing all right fire resistance nothing crazy Come back. Right, yeah, because that's electric. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So now, with that taken care of, we should be able to go see about what we're we gonna take out. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Bootleg Bay. I want to try out that temple of the sun. So, like I said, it, it I might have to cheese it a little bit, but yeah, because if I can take that out and get the quest done, then that will put me to, Welcome aboard. I don't want to go to Mist. Welcome aboard. The plank and hoist the sail. If I can get the temple taken out, then that means I can then go become a high priest, which will further increase my mana and hit points and all that which would be a really good thing pleased to see you <clears throat> so we're going to jog on over to bootleg bay and take our nice little swim and heal up actually i might try and kill these real quick At least do a few weakened shots on them or something. Wasn't so bad. Now those are gone and stop being annoying for a while. Although, you know, 
might be only a few months away from a respawn, so yes, bootleg bay. Uh, get spells going. Here was the close side. Yeah. So go for a swim. So yeah, that's the temple I want to try and take out. And then this is a healing of Ba healing temple, so very easy to run back and forth to do all that. Make a save. The order of Ba welcomes you, friend. <laughs> all right. So yeah, if I can go in, maybe drop a few dragon's breath and drop a lot of enemies or something, maybe things won't be so terrible. I want to enter this in the turn base. Doesn't look too so yeah, it's a here. bunch of monks. We've already seen those are a little rough sometimes. As you see, I lose half my health. Now the fact that these are all masters right up front doesn't help things. And I died already. Okay. Yeah, this might not work as well as I was hoping. Although now they're initiates. Maybe I'll just have to keep respawning until I can do get a decent thing. And if I get really good rolls, that might change things too. I just killed, what, three, four guys, and I'm dead. Okay. So... See that that's kind of the idea I had is do that. Come in, Whoa. fire off some dragon's breath. And then go from there. I don't have spell points. Let's get out of here. And just kind of cheese it that way, so. So we'll see how this goes. There's still the Mon the Minotaur King that's in there. And that might be a tough fight. Like, he... I might have to just leave him alive. I don't know. Um... That is the other problem though, is every time I leave here, they all heal. So I have to make sure to kill things, otherwise it's pointless going in here. Let's get up. So I did get a few more down, so maybe this will work. And like I said, if I can do this, then we will be able to finish the quest to become high priests. <laughs> Furthering our stat advancements and probably giving me at least like another 50 or 100 spell points, which would be really nice. And he weakened me, but that doesn't matter for magic. Killed that other last. So there's two masters in here now. Let's get up. So that might not be too terrible. I think just those two alone I can take without too much problem now. The order of Go ahead and heal up. <laughs> make a save going in. So a little bit of cheese, but nothing too terrible so far. The problem is the rest of the dungeon still might be an issue, but we'll see. And 
and the fact that he's making me weak doesn't help. Oh my god. Alright, one's down. I'm out healing this one. So I think we'll be alright. There we go. So loot up. What little loot there can be from monks. Since they don't carry money. Go heal again. I don't really need to actually. So just make a save. And then now, we'll see what's here. Oh. Wand of flame. Ah. Crappy helmet. Nothing else around. So there is a door here, but I think you come out that way. And then there's this door. So that's probably the worst part, is that area. But there's still a decent amount of enemies around. There just might not be as big of an area, and I have... I can kind of pull them back a little and get them in the hallway to break them apart some. Got it. Uh -huh. Shadow dagger. Shield of cold resistance. Nothing else. Hey, there's the chalice I need. So that that's actually all I need for the quest. I could leave here and have the quest completed. So. Not a terrible time. So that wasn't so bad. But, yeah, we're gonna clean this place out. Might as well. I mean, there's not but like this one room left. It's just... Ah, yeah, there he is. So that's the baddie that's there. Now, he's pretty tough on his own. He also casts Finger of Death. Which, we have Finger of Death, so you can read exactly what it does. There's a chance to just outright kill it. That might actually be the best way to go to try and kill him. Die. Even though I only have, like, a 12% chance of it hitting. Die. Yeah. Like, look, look how much, I mean... He took off, what, 30, 40 hit points? Yeah, he killed me. He did over 75 hit points in that one swing. What is, what is my actual finger death? 3% chance per point. Um, let me make sure he's not immune to it. Um, attack type. Yeah, he's immune to magic, and I believe that is magic. Like, I believe, so finger of death wouldn't even work on him. Which also means shrinking ray probably wouldn't. Um, yeah, that guy, I don't know. I might try and lure him out and just go loot the room and then run. Or I might just leave him or even just loot the room. Got it. Uh -huh. In front of him and then just be like, die. Oh. Yeah, that die was him casting it. Maybe I can do some kiting, I don't know. Like, yeah. Like, he is well beyond what I should be fighting. So maybe if I can lure him around to this room can get him a little more trapped. Because if I can get him up here and going forward into that corner, yeah. So now he's into this corner area, so I should have a few seconds to go loot stuff. Got it. Terrible. 
you. Aha. Got it. Ooh. Aha. Interesting bow there. All right. A uh, bunch of other crap. So yeah, we're just gonna leave him alive. Like I'm not. Uh, yeah, I have no real Got it. ways. I I have don't think I can kill him if I even sat here for hours. Like uh -oh. money, 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 money. All right. So I've looted the barrels. I've looted all that. Um, the only thing left are those bags. So I'm gonna do this. So that allows me to do that. We'll check over all that. He's coming. I'm not that worried about those other bags, so I'm ready. Die. So that was the whole temple. So it's not terrible. It's just that one Minotaur King. Up. Just like, oh, um, hi. Oh. Go swimming again. Or, in the case of this, probably just walking along the bottom of the floor dying. That was close. So let's sell. I'll have all that fun stuff happening. Alright, so you're 5d2 plus 8. I'm doing 5d2 plus 6. That is an upgraded bow. Always useful. I'm gonna hold you over here. Um, crappy ring. Two wands to keep in mind. Poison resistance might, yeah. Aha. Cold resistance. Nothing too crazy. Uh, crappy staff. You have a few things. I can get that sword over here. Yeah. So let's Would sell. Like buy something? Sell the weapons. Oh. Uh, put oh. that down. I think that's everything. Yeah. Sell the armor. That wasn't as bad as I thought doing? it might be. How you doing? Then go sell the trinkets. Come back soon. What you see is all I have. And now I can go become a high priest. Just gotta remember where you turn it into. Um Temple Stone. Oh, I gotta return it to Temple Stone in Freehaven, then return to Lord Stone at Castle Stone. Um, so I need to go back to Freehaven, and I believe Lord Stone was the other guy in the Frozen Highlands. So we'll go with that. I'll definitely turn this in, because promotion quests are always amazing to do. We'll definitely make sure to take a take a look at the hit points and whatnot. So like 290 spell points and 191 hit points with Day of the Gods up. So I believe the Temple Stone is that temple we rebuilt, and we need to take it there, and then we go visit the Lord, and he will promote us to High Priests. Can we assist you? So yeah, it took Chalice, even though it didn't say anything. Um. So now, let me check before I start traipsing around. 
I did Temple of the Sun now. Make sure that that is who I'm thinking of. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Anthony Stone. So yeah, that is who it is. It's the guy back up in the frozen highlands in that other part. Then I guess we'll see about doing. I want to say, why? Oh, I have no food. I was like, why am I weak? Yeah, like these guys are still tough. Like, could maybe start taking a few out, but yeah, we saw how that worked last time. Now that, let me buy food while I'm thinking about it. Pleased to see you. Guest in the house. Actually, I'm just gonna go Pleased ahead and rest to the day the too. Night. I don't know how bad food effects can get if you have things oh, like that. Baron Anthony Stone. So okay. High priest of Freehaven. I'm glad I stopped for a second. So 282 and 185. Oh, Baron Anthony Stone. High priest of Freehaven. So I am now a high priest. Now I have 240 and 350. Like, that's how big the promotions change your stuff. So those are always worth a high priority to do. Pleased to see you. So now, now where was I gonna go? Um. So I did that. Uh, the other two I was looking at was Corlegon's Estate and Icewind Keep. So I think I'm going to try and do Corlegon's Estate. Um, and that would be the Crystal of Terex. Which is what... The Crystal of Terex, yeah. So that one, because the Cor 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 I can't speak. Corlagon's estate is mostly skeleton and wraith undeads that we've killed. Um, so it shouldn't be too terrible to get through. The only thing that might give pause is there is some, at least one, if not more, liches, and those are a little tougher than like just the skeletons, but. All those skeletons and spectral and the race and stuff that would like we fought at Darkmoor shouldn't be a real problem for us right now. It is also at what Castle Ironfist area, uh, so there is that Temple of Ba there for healing, so that should not be terrible. And the barrels, I kind of mouse over, make sure I haven't missed them, or if they've respawned, kind of like the horseshoes. Because they will respawn too, when the overworld respawns, usually. So now to get a castle iron fist. Go back there. Actually, do I have any, what can I get to? One level. Yeah, you know what, I might as well do it while I'm here. Time is no longer a factor. Like, the only thing time affects is the world respawns now. I don't think... I don't think you can ever run out of time in the game, so I could end up... Probably the biggest thing is your characters do have an age. And... It's possible they'll die at certain ages? I'm not sure. But I do know as you get to certain ranks, your age will slightly affect your stats. Like, generally, I think if you're after, like, age 50 or 60, your might starts going down, but, like, your personality or intellect will go up. 
things like that, but they're very minor and they're very large windows, so if you take a few extra years, it should not be an issue. So now I got that up to master. Um, dark magic probably is the best thing to pump spells into right now. I know I did want to get that up to master, but I just I feel dark magic is going to be the best use of my points at the moment. Since I am transitioning more into spell casting. Need a ride? I don't want to go to Dark Moor. I hate Dark Moor. It's not even that hard of an area as far as level wise, it's just I hate Dark Moor. It's got all the whites, it's got golem or not golems, uh Need a ride? What you call them? Is it harpies? No, no, gargoyles. That's what it is. I think it's gargoyles are there. And they all fly, and I learned the hard way that they can turn your characters to stone. And when you're. Like, so, like, if you cast fly, like with this guy, it, it, it only keeps track of. He's the one maintaining it, basically. So if he were to get passed Need out or anything like that, Need a ride? Get there we go. Horses. or say turn to stone, well he can no longer keep fly up, so fly dissipates and you fall. I had many a deaths falling to my death fighting those things, because they would just be like, oh, I'm going to turn your caster to stone. And then I was stoned and falling to my death. Alright, so... Quilagon's estate is where? It's over. Oh, it's right by the uh, the Ba Healing Temple, so that's nice. So that's it over there. So that's a nice little easiness for healing. So we'll go heal up. Yeah, it's nice I can cast all the spells and still have half of my spell points, so. I can also do three dragon's breaths instead of two. <coughs> so yeah, now that I'm leveled up a decent bit, you see how the magic is starting to be useful. And, you know, a little more so than just being able to do that. So, like, Trap Metal is going to slowly start getting better. Uh, finger Death, if I can actually do it on things. Things like that. The Order of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I got, I don't think I'm going to be changing those at all, so those should be pretty much locked in. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I'd want, but I can't really say there is. Alright, so now we're in Corlegan's estate. Like I said, for the most part, this should not be too terrible outside of, like, the Lich. Because it's these guys. And we've dealt with these guys. Probably the other biggest thing, though, is I believe it's these guys can magically aid you. And there's not much ways you can get rid of that easily. So that becomes a pain in the ass. But, you know, it is what it is. And I think it's only the highest version of them, which would be the Spectres, but... Doesn't work on him. Whoa! Okay. I don't know what happened there. What are these guys? Did what? Let me look at their attack. No. 
Oh, yeah, okay. So the ghosts can make you afraid, the evil spirits can aid you, the specters can actually just flat out knock you unconscious. Doesn't look too safe and since here. I only have one party member, if that happens, it's considered a game over death because, yeah, I'm unconscious and no one else is. This is gonna get, this just got a whole lot more fun then. That hit me. And they're immune to that. So let me just. Okay. Doesn't look too safe around here. So what what does the destroy undead do? Sixteen plus sixteen at forty magic though, like just so much magic. Yeah, so these are the ones that will aid you. Those will make you afraid. And the specters in red can actually just flat out knock you unconscious. Which, as we saw, ends in a game over. So I'm gonna have to be very save scummy here. In fact, I might just destroy and dead some of these. have to do that for some of these and be safe. I mean, it does good damage, so it's not, like, anything to scoff at. It's just... It's a lot of mana. And, you know, when they're in a big group like this, it's like, oh, what do you do? I'm not worried about these so much. Like I said, the age isn't such an issue. But yeah, just being flat out, you know. The Spectres basically have become a one shot, one kill possibility type of deal. One hit KO, KO situation. I think you have to. F I think that's a pit. Although I'm not sure. So there was the aging. I am now 26 years old instead of 25. According to the game. That is not what I wanted. My enter key seems to be malfunctioning a little bit. heal since I'm doing a lot of magic and it's not like it's very far I just got to get out of here this is a fairly big dungeon though so this might be a while you can see clipping through the wall there that there's more let's get out well um, yeah th this is a pretty decently sized dungeon Like I said, I'm pretty sure that well is a hole you can fall down. And that goes to other areas, and then you go on from there. I'll probably do that later on, though. Like, later into the dungeon and clear out what I can first. Because it's possible that you don't have to fall down it. You can go the back route, basically. Or go the other route and then come around to where you'd fall down. But we'll see how that works out.
it's nice having haste up and getting two shots to every now and then. But yeah, the magical aging, like, there might be a potion that does it, but I don't think there is. There is a well in the game that will clear it out. It is in an in-game area, though. Like, it is, you know, you, you've pretty much done everything you can in the game. You're about to try and do the last, you're on the last few missions last few quests and this is when you go to that area oh this room yeah this is always a interesting room They have flying enemies that will fly up to you on the bridge, but they're all below you. Let's see if more of them will fly in. I can see them around there. I want them to. through this without dying which you know damage wise we're not gonna die the only real deaths that are gonna occur with most of these is just if uh, they knock me unconscious which will so that's annoying I don't even know if there's any I think, yeah these all look to be evil spirits not This might be another place where not doing turn base could be better. So let's try it. A little bit, but now there's a specter there, so run away. And I'm afraid. Alright, now remove fear. Shit! Still afraid. So that's the one drawback of me not putting points into and getting spirit and mind mastered and whatnot is those you, you gotta cure those status effects almost immediately. So I may yet still put some points into them, but yeah. going on with the camera thing but slopes do that sometimes it's annoying so yeah being afraid kind of sucks I don't think I have a potion for that oh. and he aged me again but on the plus side it does seem like that's most of the flying enemies in this room So, got this nice little small passageway I gotta get through. Alright, bunch of skeletons. Those aren't anything to worry about. I 
might need to go heal myself from being afraid though, because that's going to be annoying. Because I believe that it, it affects your chance to hit. So I'm hitting less often than I should, which means it takes longer to kill. So I might do that. Um, I don't know what he was causing, but oh, he was causing fear because that's what he does too. Like the the skeleton lord curses, but the other one, the knights, they cause fear as well. So I think that's what was going on. Well, I'm gonna go heal the temple, get rid of this fear condition. That is a, an a major annoyance. Maybe not major, but a, an annoyance at least. <clears throat> and yeah. Get, if I age too much, I might have to make sure to try Let's and find the fountain sooner rather than later. But, like I said, you have a fairly large window on the aging. I'm not completely positive of the full mechanics of it. It could be in other Might and Magic games that work like that. Not this one. I don't know. You know, some of the older Might and Magics I know had a thing, the age limit, and I have read charts where it's like, you know, as you get older, your might and endurance goes down, but like your uh, wisdom or intellect will go up and things like that. But they could have also done away with that one on this one, and who knows. <clears throat> but, like I said, even on the older ones, though, it's like, y you don't really notice an effect until you're, like, after 50. And most characters start around 20 or 30. Unless they're, like, a different race or whatever that has different age limits. But that's another matter entirely. Sucks not having torchlight too. It's a spell I like. Oh yeah, the hallway teleport. It just teleports you through that whole hallway. It's just like, ah, oh, yeah, you're at the end. Aha! Uh -huh. Spike the club. See Spectre. Which means Oh! Yeah, he just knocked me unconscious. Apparently I live somehow. I don't know how that worked, but God, I can't hit the spectre. There we go. So I don't know if it takes you to one or if it did take me to one, but my uh, passive region magic items kicked in. Or what, but somehow I lived through that. So we'll chalk that up to some sheer luck. Here's another open room that has a bunch of enemies below you. 
so that always ends up being fun. so far. Making decent progress, I think. Nothing came out to fight. I think it might just be skeletons on the low ground now. That's all that's there, so that's not bad. Uh, more skeletons. Yeah, being afraid makes it... Not being afraid, that's a huge difference in speed. So like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. It just makes you less likely to hit. Uh, 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 don't. He he went homer. Never go full homer. see what the button does. Where am I? Uh, switch opens a wall. Okay. I think it lowered one of those smaller grates earlier or something. I'm not sure. So yeah, we are going to make sure to explore all of this, but like I said, no need to jump down into things unknowingly. Might open one of these. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe somewhere else. It also does suck if like you fall off here because then you're down there below, but you have to fight your way out to find a way back out. So if you get in a bad position, well, you're just kind of screwed. Which is also why I'm not worried about jumping down that well just yet either. <coughs> acting as chests. Nothing in here.
I'm doing turn base for these guys just because they they can be a little evil, more evil with their special effects. Skeletons are just kind of like, oh okay, I damaged you a little bit. Oh my god, hit! There we go. Yeah, that and if specters show up, I don't. Know. I'd really rather not just instantly die and have to sit here and save all every other second. Page from Corlegon's diary. Uh, fine ring, worthless daggers, worthless gauntlets, worthless sword. Nothing less. So what's this page do? Hmm. Talking about the crystal of Terex. Which is what we're here for. So, oh yeah, so he's about to die, so he transforms himself into a lich so he can continue to study the Crystal of Terex. So that is the lich that's in here, is Corlegon himself. Because Thori! Which also means we'll probably have to fight Corlegon, because he's probably had the Crystal Terex is probably where he's at. So no no freebie like the other thing where it's just like, oh. I can take it and run. Wait, was there that that did spawn a second, didn't it? I was wondering about that. I opened it back up, I saw chainmail, but I was like, wait, didn't I take the chainmail? Oh. That's not terrible. Um, anything else that was worthwhile? Uh, Fire resistance, intellect, no, what do I have? <coughs> yeah, that's being sold. The only luck I have is, probably the only reason I have that luck is for the, um, what you call it, regeneration stuff. So I'm gonna go heal, since I'm heading back towards the front anyway, because this path is done outside of falling down that well there. Then we'll head down the other path and see what we can do. Let's get up. So yeah, this hasn't been too bad. <clears throat> I, you know, the lich fight might be rough, but we'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully we can't actually kill him though. I hate just having to Before cheese run it. <laughs> so yeah, just for my own fun, I did start up a solo sorcerer. And it, it's... I feel like early in mid game, Cleric might be easier. Just based on what I've done so far. But it's like as soon as I get master water magic and a few points in air magic, things just become piddly easy. Because I can get anywhere, so I can teleport around and do a whole bunch of easy quests and level up real quick and get even more powerful. And then I have all the magic, and then it's just like, oh, I kill things. Although it's hard to give a true comparison because I did do the Dragon Sands cheese on the solo wizard run and that I forgot how powerful that can be because it's it's a shrine that gives 20 to all stats so all your stats are 20 more than what they would be if I did that so I can still go get the shrine and I do plan on it before I finish but I'm getting a much later game, but I also went into the New World Computing offices, 
where you get a bunch of free stuff and all that other fun stuff. And what really helps, especially starting out, is there's a shrine there. There's a thing you can click, and it casts Day of the Gods on you. But it casts it at, like, maximum possible level that you could ever get Day of the Gods cast. Alright, apparently I need to do Day of Protection again. Because, like, I have Day of the Gods on me, and I'm up to, like, you know, 100, whatever, 200. The one in that dungeon in the New World Computing Office, the secret little thing, when you do it, it's like plus 300 to all your stats. It is ridiculous what it does. And I cannot kill this specter. Alright, there we go. Again, that damn, I hate that jumping up and down it's doing. It gives me a headache. But yeah, it's something with slopes that the game just has trouble with sometimes. So yeah, nice winding corridors of a map going down. And this is very possible. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Just those guys. I'll take it in the turn. Oh no, I'm afraid. Uh, remove fear. Oh no, I'm cursed. That's worse. Cursed again. Damn you! Alright, I'm gonna have to go heal. It's just too much. Got that one. Alright. Well then, just plate armor sitting around. Oh, there's something else there too. What's there? Uh, two handed sword. That's enough value. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, take the winding road, go heal, because that curse is... Yeah, I can't even remove it now, it's been too long. Especially if I'm about to jump down one of those holes, because that seems to be the next place to go. <coughs> Let's get out. Go heal. And then after once we finish this one cuz there's not too much more left of it. Uh I'm not too sure where to go. Let me check the buffs. There've been 17 minutes yet. It's time to recast. Has eight hours still, so we're good. So, a tick, save. These things crash on me too often. So far, I haven't had any, but I've also been careful with it. But yeah, uh, after doing this, I'll probably go try see if I can get to Icewind Keep. Um, that might be a bit more difficult though, because like the last one I did up there, and I might have to just run into the dungeon and run out, which is always much more risky. Um, otherwise, I'm not too sure where to go. It's a little. It's one of those things where it's like when I finish this, I might be able to level up a few more times. And that might be able to open things up enough where I can open up a few more places to go. Otherwise, it'll be a little risky in certain places. 
Yeah, there was doors here, wasn't there? Skeletons up there, it seems. Yeah, I think you gotta lower these walls and hit all those switches. And like, I think you do eventually load up low. Yeah, like this one might have been one of a bubble. Dagger, gold, chainmail, more gold, never a bad thing. Skeleton, head on a pike. from something. Ooh, a bunch of specters. Alright. They can't one-shot me if I one-shot them. So I think this is the room below that bridge earlier. So like if you fell, I would have had to fight these guys and then come out. Yeah, see there's the bridge up there. So if I had fallen, I would have had to fight and come down and fight my way through before I could get back out and heal and all that. So There's a few other dungeons that employ similar style rooms. Where falling down can be quite annoying. I just got cursed. So curse really sucks because removing curse curse makes you fail spells. So sometimes you can't cast the spell to remove it and then you're just stuck. Alright. So I was able to remove it so that's good. Let's make a save. <coughs> And now I'm back into this other room. So there's still a few places to explore. Let me go heal since I'm here, though. That is most of the dungeon. Um. The order of God. Five hours, yeah. These will run out first, so five hours is still plenty of time. So this hasn't been too bad. So yeah, making decent progress. That's two dungeons we we've looked at today. Um, I want to go back here though. Let's see if it's a secret door to find, or if it's a door, or if you have to do something else. Because the end area of the dungeon is right over here. Yeah, gotta find the switch for it. So, let's go make sure I've hit the switches. In which case, I'll have to go find other switches. Did I hit this switch? I did, didn't I? I believe 
That would maybe lower one of these walls. It had a switch in it. No. But I mean, there's still this pit down here. I believe you have to go down it. Yeah, I believe that's where I have to go, is down one of these. So, let's do that. Go. Magical aging, screw you. That hit two of them? Is the shrine dead like an AoE? Now upon a single unlucky target, so I guess not, but okay. It looked like it hit two. So what, I've got three that have been aged now, that's annoying. So yeah, there's the switch we need for one of the areas. Stop cursing me! This is the other uh, fountain area. Oh, it's behind it. Ah, it's right behind it, not... Okay. Well, I thought you fell down, but no. Not quite. So this goes down somewhere else. Oh, this goes down to the other room, the lower section. So this is how you get out of that room, is through this place. Got that one. So yeah, if I had fallen down that other small pathway area, I would have had to fight my way up through this tunnel. Actually, if I find a ring that's like immune to curse, or maybe even an amulet, that might be worth wearing. Got that one. All right. Skull pile. Aha! Protection from cold is worthless. Flame arrow is worthless. Ah. Mass fear is worthless. Torch light and water walk are worthful. Ah. Oh. I'm getting treasure chest for our Got troubles. Aha. Uh -huh. With some chain mail. Um, ah. Ah. Some gauntlets, a club. Ah. ah. That would be an interesting challenge, is get the clubs, 
never learn a weapon skill. So you could only, everyone could only ever use clubs, and you could never increase your skills, because there is no club skill, it's just anyone can use it. That would be an interesting thing. I probably wouldn't do that solo, but... I had a thought, I was like, I wonder if you could do a level 1 challenge, but I was like, man, I don't, I don't even know if that'd be possible. Because levels do so much for you. In fact, I think even some of like the two-hit formulas and stuff include your level. Not positive on that, but that might be a thing too. So, all right. So now, I think I've cleared out all the monsters except for Quillagon himself, which means I just have to run around and hit whatever switches are available. I hit okay there's none up here they're all down that way so yeah not too bad of a dungeon so far we'll see how we deal against the lich shortly enough Coming out there. Is this wall down? It is. Now I can hit that switch. Which means I think I've hit all the switches needed. Hopefully. And this door should be open coming through this way now. If it is, then brava. We're there. Yeah, alright. Okay, so now we just have to deal with the leech and maybe some minions in this room. Yeah. So there's the power lich. That's Corlegon. Um, I'm actually going to run around the corner here. Okay. Did not know that was a thing. He is not immune to destroy undead, that's good to know, but I don't think I can out heal him. So, you know. Yeah. No way. Well then, did not expect the whole uh oh no, you're you're being teleported in. So make another save. This might be the easiest way to just teleport in and just go ham on him. I... Alright, so he's dead. So these should not be a problem then. Worst, comes, worst thing's gonna happen is they're gonna curse me. But I pretty much have no mana left anyway. And then, yeah. We'll get out of here. It still says there's enemies around. I don't know where. I thought I killed them. Alright, so there's the ter crystal of Terex that we need for the quest. It's a nice wand to have. Um, just random plate armor. I'm gonna leave that. I don't care. Ah, it's bond enemies. Magical aging, damn you. Just enough for one cast. Alright. Now we are done with this place. So, four years to my life. Not too bad. Um, did this, yeah, this is the way that went back to the front. Now we can get out of here, go to the Temple Ba, and then now we have the Crystal of Terex to turn in. 
Um, I believe that was to Anthony... No, not Anthony Stone. Um, forget his name. But the guy over in Mist. Albert Newton. Yeah, Albert Newton. So we need to go back to Mist to turn in this quest. Um, we'll see. We can go, what, two levels? The quest might give me a third, but probably not. So two levels up. Not a bad thing to have. Um, I will say this though, I know it's a Monday, and I normally try to stream Monday nights. There's... I'm not gonna make a guarantee for tonight. My sleep has been rather off. I was up till like 5 p.m. yesterday, before I slept. So, it might be hard for me to sleep and wake up on time to do a nice stream. I probably will still stream tonight when I wake up, but it might not be like the 7.30 normal time that I do. So, let's see where the boat's going, if the boats are going. Let's see if I can get to mist. Closed. Oh, all right. There we go. Alright, so he's up over this way. His Grace Albert So that was for the Archmage quest. High sorcerer of Enroth. So, yeah. So, got that promotion. Does absolutely nothing for me outside of experience. So, okay, yeah, it did give me enough to get one more level. So, I can get three more levels trained up. Certainly gonna do that. Let me put a few more points into dark magic and maybe something else. Closed. Uh, yeah. Back for another oh, lesson. can't train here. So that is one thing. Um, the training centers do have level caps. So I am above the level cap that this one will train me to. So I have to go train elsewhere. Um, there's one or two that do not have a level cap. But you can't always get to them easily. In fact, the one I know off the top of my head that doesn't have a level cap is a, in... A terrible, terrible, terrible area that you don't really want to be in if you can help it. Welcome upgrade the plan. So Iron Fist might have a higher level cap, I'm not sure. We will see. Actually, if we can go to Sorpical real quick, I'm gonna do that. Actually, let me check here before I do that. Um what's this gonna sell for? See ya, cheaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking well, for a weapon? I never yeah, he sells it for a thousand more. See ya, cheapskate. Screw you. Well, I never need a ride. Yeah, Take the horses. Because I believe here has one of the lowest um buy and sell weapon. factors. Okay, I still can't do it for price, but still fourteen thousand. I'm just gonna do that now. I'm not gonna worry too much about min maxing it. Ooh. Ah. That might be worth wearing. Oh, oh. Uh, he only sells weapons. So what was it? Insanity. That's nice. That's like eh. not too great with any of these other things. Spell five spell points. Nothing really to worry about. Oh, was there any other weapons? There are not. 
So let's sell the armor. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Stack these all up nicely. So I can fit the armors here. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Make sure this isn't any armor I wouldn't want to wear. 18, yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing too. Don't touch the merchandise. Come back soon. Now I can go sell all the rings and such. Closed. Can I help you find anything? Uh, that one might be worn. Thanks. Ten might. Uh, five endurance would be probably. Yeah, I need to move that one over there. Set go. These ring placements are weird. All right, so yeah, I know these bottom two are never gonna be taken off, unless like somehow I find you know regenerate hit points and something else. Uh, sparkling ring of vigor. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put you on so I can no longer be insane. Uh, I don't know if it's immune though, but it might. I think that might be immunity. Can I help you find it? So, so two wands of flames. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna be using wands anymore. Poison. I'll keep the wand just in case. So yeah, more scrolls that do nothing. Another wand, wand of static. Can I help you find all right. Come again. So done all that. I'm up to another hundred thousand gold. Probably blow through that very quickly if we wanted to. In fact, I might Pick see about going horses. Darkmoor. Need a Not Darkmoor. Uh, Blackshire. So, I've done Corlegon's estate. So the other one, like I said, was the Icewind Keep up in the Frozen Highlands. Beyond that, though, it's like I'm kind of at a loss of where to go. I mean, I know where I need to go. I'm just at a loss of where I can go and live. That's kind of, you know, the trouble of having this one... So I'm wondering, yeah, that's not happening. Like, I kind of want to see if I can master black magic. And if I can do that, that might help a little bit. Problem is surviving the run. So we're going to go to Freehaven. Uh... Need a ride? Need a ride? There Take we go. The horses. Go free haven. And I don't think these will ride me to Blackshire today, so I'll probably just run there. We, we've made the Blackshire run plenty of times. It's not too difficult. I might be able to clear out some of the Blackshire overworld. Need a ride? Yeah. But I'm not super keen on trying just yet at the moment anyway. So we're gonna run to Blackshire. Uh, I want to visit the light and magic, or mainly the dark magic school. See if there's a, any other spell to pick up. There's one I would like to buy, although you can't just do it as a scroll for what I need to do. But I just, I don't know. I'm OC, usually I'm OCD and I buy all the spells, just because I want all the spells. It's been hard to resist not doing that so far. Yeah, we'll run over to Blackshire. Get these spells up just in case. Not that I plan on fighting right now, but you know. Like I said, I, those are probably still too tough for me to really tackle. I might be able to take some of these out, but again, it's kind of like. Eh, 
and they do have a lot of good range attacks, so it is still rough. And getting dark magic up will definitely help with like the day of protection. Because that'd be another full four times instead of three times, which means you'll be stronger. So more resistance, more survivability. So definitely worth getting mastery. And oh, I didn't put my. I did put my. Oh, I didn't train because I couldn't. Ha ha ha! I forgot to check. Uh, let me see if there's a trainer grounds here. There might be. I think they're right here. No. That's How are not, you? No. Maybe there isn't here. Not every town has them, but. Hello. Yeah. All right. So let me look at the light guild. Light, the magic of good. Let's make sure there's nothing I was needing. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. Yeah, I got everything I pretty much would want. So now, wait till 10 o'clock tonight. Dark, the magic of evil. Uh, moon ray, finger of death, shrinking ray, toxic mount. Got all those, got that. And they don't have the spell I want. Which sucks. Um, hmm. Let's go see. Hi, come on in. Good, huh? See you in the morning. Let's turn a room. I'm gonna test if I can make it or not. Like, I'm. I wanna go for a run. And we're gonna run into Paradise Valley. It's a scary place. And why is it scary? Well, that's one of the reasons. But yeah, I have a long run to get to the master trainer. These guys are not anything I should be fighting. That's the other thing. They got fucking titans over here. But more so than them just being out in the wilderness, they're actually in the town, kind of like Darkmoor. Like, when you when you went into Darkmoor, there's skeletons everywhere. Well, you know, titans are just kind of standing around in the town. I need to get to the town to master magic. So if I had flight, this wouldn't be nearly as bad because I could just fly and not have to worry as much about it. Because you also move a hell of a lot faster with flight. And you can get over, you know, I don't have to follow this path. I can go directly there. Yeah, noble titans. Uh, yeah, these, these guys don't like you. So, it actually kind of looks a little promise- Whoa, shit. Like, it looks like it might be possible, actually, now that I'm here. But, as I say that, I'm still getting wrecked. And there's the Master Dark. So, I could have mastered it. And the problem is, I have to run all the way back. But, it actually seems like it's possible. So, hey. Yeah. Which just means I need to get my reputation down to the worst possible level. 
she really isn't that hard. But they're not selling that one spell I wanted to use. And essentially there's a spell called, I believe, Armageddon. It deals damage to every single living thing on the map. Including yourself. Possibly killing yourself. So that is one thing you have to worry about. Is can you cast it and survive. But one easy quick way to lower your reputation is to go around killing innocent villagers. So like, you know. Go up to this guy. I'm at 905. If I can hit him. That lost 100 right there. Another 100 gone. Another 100. So actually, I'm going to load. And I guess I'm just going to slaughter this village. It's typically what you do. You usually, I would get the Armageddon spell and just cast that because it would kill all of these villagers in a single swift motion. But yeah, this is actually Hello. a quest that I need to get. So there is a quest to put those five or six statues on pedestals around the world. Yeah, so... That one's an annoying one. So what am my reputation at? 195. I still need to kill like five more villagers. Or six. Now they were too far away. They didn't see me kill their friends. So they're just like, oh, who's this guy? should be able to get the... Now, just like good reputation, your bad reputation does get fixed over time. It does decay, so to speak. Oh, there's werewolves on me out here. That's not a good thing. Okay. God damn it. Just slaughtering innocent things and the werewolves are like, nah, fuck you, you're gonna die too. So yeah, it's like a radius that things will be like, oh, you killed something that wasn't evil to you, now we're all going to fight you. So yeah, I'm down to 95, which means I still need like 10 more to kill. So if I wanted to do this right, I'd actually go to a bottom first. Cause then I could donate, lower my reputation to negative 200, and then just have to kill very few. Cause like I said, like, you know, your good reputation will go down towards zero. Your bad reputation will go up towards zero over time. Greetings. Now for the most part, as I said, reputation don't mean shit. Outside of getting your masteries. However, if you have a reputation low enough and you visit any of the castles, they will actually arrest you and throw you into jail. And that means that um, you spend a year into jail, so a year of the game will pass. I believe it's a year might be less I don't know but yeah okay so I'm notorious now that's what I need to be so now if I can make that run again and get back out I will be able to have dark magic mastered <clears throat> so let's make a secondary save just so I'm not notorious for no reason so like I said, I can't go talk to any of the lords about anything. Get my buffs up. Because, be safe than sorry. Alright. 
because, you know, if I'm just notorious for no reason, I can't actually go talk to any of the lords of the castles. Which means I can't turn in or do the quest I need to do. Although it is a handy way to pass time in game if you're looking to actually uh, have things respawn. Because it passes, oh, like I said, I believe it's a full year. And when you get out of jail, um, you will be at negative 200 reputation. Which is, you know, kind of bad, but nothing that no one's going to be too freaking out over. So, they'll let you do whatever. So yeah, having all these titans around is definitely... Like I said, they're just standing around in town. Like, they're, you know... How are you? Alright, Master of Dark! Okay. Make sure it took... Dark Magic Mastery, alright. Now let's get the fuck out of here. At some point I will come back and clean cure these guys, but I'm certainly... I mean, I, I think their base level is like maybe like 60. So, odds are you're not supposed to really be here till you're 50 or 60. At least. Okay, so that wasn't too terrible of a run. I got my dark magic mastery. That's what matters. And I lived. Yeah, these, these guys are a little tough, though. Yeah, th this is one of the... F there's, like, four in-game areas where it's, like... You know, they're all con they're all really high-end areas. Uh, that's Paradise Valley, Hermit's Isle, Dragon Mist, or Dragon Sands, and Sweetwater. Sweetwater is where you're, the final dungeon of the game is. Um, This is actually right below. Sweetwater is actually up here. Hermit's Isle's down here, and that has the well with the magic aging, and Dragon Sands down there. Which is, you know, down here. Alright, so that was actually kind of cool. Got that done. So now, of course, I don't want to be roaming around as notorious. Because, like I said, eh, just not that great. So the very easy way to do that... Let's just go visit the temple. And just say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm too respectable. Just a little bit of gold. That's it. Hello. So if you're smart about it, you, depending on your party makeup, you might be able to master dark magic first. But again, you gotta know that going in. Because once you... You know, if you've done a few quests going, increasing your reputation, then you tank it, it can be very hard to get it back up. Um, I actually, upon looking more into it, I don't think it's possible to lock yourself out of being able to master it. Um, now that time has passed, let me check these again, because they might have restocked. Closed. Uh, I think the bounties can give reputation. Um, so I think you can just do those repeatable if you get to a point where you've done all the major quests. And then one quest... There it is, Armageddon. That's the spell I was going to buy and I was just going to cast that. 50 points of damage plus one point for every point and dark skill you have to every creature on the map, including yourself. So normally you buy that, cast it once, it kills a town, and you're instantly notorious. But now I don't need to buy it, so I'm just going to sit on it for now. Like, there, there's no need for me to buy that now. I don't have any items to worry about. Yeah, I got these. 
Yeah, there's five pedestals around the world that you need to put those on. That's annoying. Right. Anyway. See you in the morning. <clears throat> Oh my god. Need a ride? There to we check go. the horses. All right. So, I have that. Let me see about training. Can I train Post. here? How about okay? Yeah. All right. So, I got that training done. So, yeah, outside of getting a few things up to master or something for the most part. Dark magic and maybe light is where my points are going to go. Uh, like I said, I do want to get these up to master. There's no reason not to. But it's like, what's going to serve me more? Doing this or dark magic? Um... So, it's kind of like, you know, perception definitely want to get to master, but I don't have to do that now. Meditation's at master. Every point in there is just a bunch more skill, uh, spell points, so it's certainly always useful. Same with bodybuilding. I mean, I want to get it to master, but that's just more hit points. Uh, repair item hasn't been too needed yet. I don't need identify, actually. I have the scholar. I don't recall. Let me look at what the skills require. Uh, okay, it doesn't tell me on this thing. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay. So for weapon skills, you need rank 8. So that's not too terrible to master. Armor skills is rank 10. Magic skills is 12. And everything else is 7. I mean, I'm definitely putting at least a point into dark magic. I, I don't know if master's really worth it on those. 10 for armor. I mean, the recovery penalty could be huge. Yeah, I'll split up the points a little bit. I'll grow. I'll, I'll work on getting all of them up a little bit at once. So the shield, I'm not too worried about doing mastery yet. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to do, but... I want to get chain mastered, mace mastered, dark magic mastered, bow mastered. So I'm going to put points into the... Well, I have Dark Magic Master, but just more points into Dark Magic. So I'm going to try and put these three and then maybe one or two into these every time I get some levels going. We'll just see how that all works out. Alright, so now, where am I going to go? Actually, I believe I'm going to call the stream for now. It is time for me to try and go steep. Hopefully I'll be able to. Um, like I said, I, I'm sure I'm 99% positive I'm going to stream tonight. It just might be later than the traditional 7.30 time that I try to do. And more than likely, just more Might Magic 6. I want to try and finish this. Um, hopefully over the next 10 days. Because on the 29th, Cuphead comes out. And I kind of want to stream that. Which means I will be transitioning to streaming Cuphead a lot. And we'll see that. So, anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, we got some decent stuff done. Got mastery, got some experts and everything going. I might actually put enough points to get those to expert real quick too, later. Just for the sheer um, fact of removing fear and the whatnot. So... Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will see y'all next time. Until then, bye-bye.